Hello, people. Let's talk about EGRs in this week's installment of Wednesday Encouragement. And what I mean by that is extra grace required. Let's be honest. We all have people in our lives that if we could avoid, we would. So to be in their presence, it takes quote unquote extra grace on our part to interact with them. When my wife and I first got married, we took this personality test and on a need to be right scale, I scored a nine out of 10. I was an EGR for people and I didn't even know it. Years later, I took a similar test and I scored a three out of 10. Between those two tests, I worked really hard at putting myself in other people's shoes and trying to see things from their perspective. Now listen, I'm far from perfect, and oftentimes that three presents itself like a 10 again. Just visit a zoo with me and give the wrong name to an animal we're both looking at. So how do we deal with EGRs? I love this reminder from Colossians chapter three, verse 12, which says, therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. When you look at this verse in context, Paul is saying, be patient with everyone because God has been extremely patient with you. The truth is, we often get annoyed with people because of our flaws being lived out in their lives. And we are EGRs for somebody else. So this week, let's take a step back. Maybe try to see things through somebody else's perspective and be patient with one another. You got this. Go in peace.